I am Stephanie and in today's video I'm going to share with you the process of my latest sculpture and it's a tiny one this time. It's mushrooms, very bright magenta pink mushrooms with a dash of purple, a good measure of purple on an empty um, tube, an empty tube of paint which happened to be magenta as well. More specifically, Kinacridone Magenta, which is my favorite of all pink pigments. Um, so yeah, I can... If you're looking for great pink pigment, Kinacridone Magenta is your girl. It is an amazing pigment, very vibrant and bright. And uh, that specific tube was from Schminke, the German brand. As you might know, I am slightly obsessed with Schminke in general. I think that's because I grew up in Germany, to be perfectly honest. There are many brands that are equally as good. But yeah, this one was a Schminke tube and uh, yeah, I emptied it. I kept it because I knew I wanted to do a few sculptures on tubes. Um, I do like to use trash and transform it into artwork and this is no different. And so this specific sculpture is going to be up for grabs <laughs> if you can find it. And if you live where I live, which um, I don't think there are many people watching my YouTube channel that actually live where I live. Uh, but hey, if you live in Vannes uh, in France and if you are there on Saturday, tomorrow when you're watching then yeah if you can find it you can keep it now last year I was super stressed about that um but it was found within an hour i think so yeah i'm a bit less stressed about it this year and uh, yeah it's an international art event sounds fancy uh and it's called game of shrooms and it's been created by Atayom. I'm going to add his Instagram and everything down in the description box below so you can learn a little bit more about that. Now if you want to join it probably is going to be a bit short on time but uh, yeah he's hosting that event sort of um, every year um, and there's also a dedicated Instagram ag account now for the whole game which is a shroom drop. And yeah, basically artists everywhere around the world. So it started in the US, but there's quite a lot of them in Europe as well now and um, elsewhere, which I don't recall right now. But yeah, it's international. It's free for everyone. So if you're an artist or a hobbyist or just, you know, enjoy to do things with your two hands, then yeah, you can do artworks related to mushrooms and then you hide them where you live, in your town, in your hometown. If someone finds it, they can keep it. And yeah, that's basically it. It's kind of fun. Uh, it's nice to give free art away. It's just a nice fun event. I participated already last year and as I said and mentioned it was found in I think an hour. I was really surprised. Um, I, I was... <laughs> my biggest fear last year was that it would not be found and that I would have to go you know, grab it after a week because nobody wanted it. So uh, yeah, that was my biggest fear. I don't have that fear this year. Now I just wonder where I'm going to hide it. Um, last year, I think, was a bit too obvious. It was at an art place. But at the same time, I feel like if you hide art in a place where there is art, then at least you have a better chance of being found by someone who appreciates art, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to hide it. This year it's going to be a surprise for myself. Now, um, on a more technical, practical topic, this, uh, this sculpture, for this sculpture I used two clays and wire for the stem. I tend to use just bare wire for those tiny mushrooms. And so I use cold porcelain for the caps, for the mushroom caps, and then epoxy clay for all the rest. Now, if you've been following my work for a while, you might know that I really love to use air dry clay. And now for a sculpture that would have not um, been for outside, so this one is going to stay outside for a while, I, I mean at least an hour or two, maybe a day. Um, I didn't want to use air dry clay as air dry clay and water is just not a good, uh, 
not a good combination. But my usual sculptures are for indoors and so I really like using air dry clay and for the mushroom cups I would have used air dry clay normally but this time I used cold porcelain which I mean is fine. Um, I like that material as well. So this cold porcelain here that I used is one from Belgium, Weepam. But I, I don't really like it. It's not flexible at all. And uh, for me, cold porcelain, like the the main drive for me is that it's flexible because air dry clay is very much not so. And so um, sometimes in sculptures or almost always you do need some clay that is flexible for certain parts. Um, and I was kind of hoping, I was really hoping that this clay from Belgium would be my new clay because the one I love to use comes from Japan and um, well I prefer to buy local brands when I can. This is not a replacement sadly so I will have to try other more European cold porcelain brand. I know you can make cold porcelain yourself but I just know I um, <laughs> I can't be bothered, I'm sorry, just can't be bothered. I mean if I really don't find anything suitable I might end up doing it myself. I know it's a lot cheaper and then I suppose in a way you would create less packaging if you do it yourself. I'm not sure. I mean you still use um, white glue. It's not it's not perfect. <laughs> All right it's not it's not perfect but yeah I'd rather find a good um, a good European brand of cold porcelain. So yeah in case you have any suggestion yeah, I'm happy to hear about them um, in the comments below um, yeah and that's pretty much it and I used all the acrylics I had so I'm currently um, I'm using a lot of a more cheaper acrylic brand but I quite like it um, it's from Royal Talents so I didn't use just that one on this I used um, golden as well and um, uh, so Royal Talents and I think I used Turner, yeah, and I used Turner, the acrylic wash a little bit at the end. Um, and I tend to mix everything together, so um, yeah, not 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 too precise on that. I just you know pick the colors I want. But I use the Royal Talents, the um, standard series, and I have to say I quite like it. It's quite matte, um, good coverage, and as I use the paint straight out of the tube I don't really thin it down all that much. I think it's um, it's good, especially for that price. So I'm probably going to... Um, I might buy from them again. I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit in uh, limbo when it comes to acrylics. Um, so yeah, I will see. I probably am going to do a mixture because I, as you know I prefer to buy per pigments rather than per brand. But yeah, those are fine acrylic and not extra fine and so I tend to buy extra fine but I have to say this is not bad and yeah I think we are coming to the end of this video more or less um, if not I leave a bit of music if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment share subscribe whatever <laughs> just help me out guys help me out um, and yeah I will see you in my next video bye